Hi, welcome to Nichecraft. My name is Cassie and I'm your host. And you're about to see all of the really amazing things I'm about to put in my September giveaway. But before I go through all of those items, I do want to remind you of two things. The first thing is to please watch this video to the end. And that's only so that you know all of the terms and conditions and you know how to enter. And the second thing is to just be aware that when I pick a winner of one of my giveaways, I always pick it in a video with a random comment picker. I always have the same format. So if anybody comments back to anything that you say in this video um, and they're asking you for information or they're asking you to contact them or they're saying that maybe you won, that's not me. I might, I might comment back, but I'm not gonna comment back telling anybody that they've won, okay? I'm not gonna do that and I am not gonna comment back telling people to give me their information, okay? The, the time that you find out when the winner is is on the date that I tell you um, and it will be in a video. That said, um, I want to tell you all about this great video. So I love the month of September. It's probably one of my favorite months and I'm not really certain why. There's not really a concrete reason for me loving September so much that I can give you guys. I just love it, okay? And I think it's because it's in that in-between of it's like the greenery is just about to go away and I'm anticipating the cooler weather and that's really a great feeling for me. Also, when I was a kid, a lot of really cool stuff happened to me in September. Um, like, for example, my first boyfriend, what, it, you know, like serious boyfriend I had growing up was, I met him in September. September was my dad's birthday. So, I mean, I think that that might be it too. But like, I really wanted this to be a really special giveaway that had a whole lot of things connecting it but it was really hard for me to figure that out so I decided to um, just share some of my personal memories with you guys and have that be kind of like the theme of the giveaway all right so that said we have this um, Hobie bag here it says Hobie love on it and it has these little hearts and and I really like it um, so I was expecting that this bag was going to be the, the nicer one of the two, <laughs> but it's actually a little bit thinner than the other bag that I have here, which just has these sunflowers on here. And I love that some of them are filled in and some of them aren't. Um, I just, for some reason, I really like that. Um, maybe it's because of the Equinox, um, coming up on, um, the 21st. I, I don't know. I just, I really love this. Sunflowers remind me a lot of September because they're, I mean, they're, they're a, um, decoration staple for, um, the beginning of that harvest time. So that said, I am going to show you one of the items in the giveaway. So we have this puzzle. It's a 500 piece puzzle and, um, it's basically like a farmer's market. Um, and it shows like all of the different farm animals. And it reminds me of one of those like fairs or festivals where people are showing off their livestock and they're showing off like the, the craft shows and the baking competitions and stuff like that. And I remember always going to those in September and I thought that this would be really perfect for, um, for that because like, you know, I don't know if that's the way it is for everybody. <laughs> I don't know if it was that or if it was just for me growing up, but I always associate this time of year with um, those farmers, you know, that, that the fair, um, when everybody shows off what they can do, you know, I always kind of wanted to be somebody who was able to show off what I could do in the crafting area. <laughs> so we have this awesome puzzle. Um, Okay, so the Notions pouch is just going along with that green theme. It's green and it's a little bit different than what I usually get. Um, I will pick up these crochet hooks so that I can show you a little bit about them. And telling you about these crochet hooks, it goes from two um, millimeter to, um, we've got an eight millimeter. Yeah, it's two millimeter to eight millimeter. And look at the difference in the sizes of those hooks. That's pretty you got you got a lot of stuff to work with and they have this rubber grip that I really like I personally have some crochet hooks that have these this rubber grip and I really love them and um so I'm including these so I'm gonna put these in this notions pouch so I can show you how it works um I have one of these kinds of notions pouch uh, for my pins but I have used it for crochet hooks before too so this has a zipper at the top and a flat a flat bottom right here right so you can stand it up right and in order and 
and you can zip it up and you can stand it up and it stands just fine <laughs> right and when you unzip it you can just push this part down and then you have access to the crochet hooks inside there and there are even little areas here in the pockets where you can put um your scissors <laughs> right and you can put um an extra measuring tape in there and you might want to put your row counter and i'll show you how this works you um you press this button this big button to count up your rows we're on one two three four then you press this small button to clear it and that's how it works i love this um so you can put this in there too and you know all sorts of other things i mean it does have enough room for um stitch markers as well i'm gonna go ahead and take this out because i want to make sure that um it it doesn't bang around <laughs> against other things but it's 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 really roomy and i really like it and i thought that um is showing you a different ways of making notions pouches um, out of things like a pencil holder like that's what this is um, can really make a difference and again like when once you pull this up you have so much more room you see <laughs> so there's like all of the space that you can fill in fact i'll demonstrate that in just a minute so we'll put that to the side and i'll show you so we have some stitch markers i also have a plastic um darning needle and then i have a few more darning needles in different sizes and i even have this um one darning needle where it's like curved a little bit and i noticed that those curved hooks they really help me weave in my ends um so you get some <laughs> so you get some stitch markers that are the diaper pen stitch markers and some needles for weaving in your ends and just showing you here like that whole bag can fit in there just fine right um, once you pull it up, I'm going to put this in here just so it doesn't run away. <laughs> all right. So we got those and this is almost all. I have something special for you guys as far as the extra stitch markers. So this, <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> I'm not giving this away, but what's inside of here are different stitch markers that I've made. <laughs> that I um, that just didn't come in a set. So what I'm going to do right here on camera is that I am going to reach in here and pull out six stitch markers from here and I'm going to also add those to <laughs> this giveaway. So I'm not going to be able to see what's in them. And um, so we have an Ombre Sweets. We have this Rose. Oh, we have another Sweets. Let's see. We have a butterfly. We have a gummy bear. And one more. Okay, and we <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Look at this little hamster. It's so cute, isn't it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it made me laugh so hard when I saw him. I was like, he can't go in a set. He just can't. So what you ended up getting was um, an, um, an ombre suite, okay? And then you also have this pink one with the glitter in it, okay? Um, you've got a pink gummy bear stitch marker, this silver rose stitch marker here, um, this really cute butterfly with the little polka dots on it. I think that's cute. <laughs> and this little hamster. <laughs> <laughs> I can't look at it without laughing, you guys. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to take out the, the stitch markers um, bag here and I'm going to put all of these in here. Something about these sweets, it might look like they're really heavy, but they're actually not. They're not that heavy at all. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. And, you know, I, I have stitch markers that I sell on Etsy um, and I just wanted to include some of my own stitch markers in my giveaways from now on. So that's the way that I decided to do it. So those are all your stitch markers. I'm so glad that somebody's going to get the the hamster because I was like really afraid that the hamster wasn't going to come out until much later. <laughs> but that's I, I think that was my favorite one. Um, okay, so in addition to the notions that I usually include, I also like to include some pens because I mean, who who doesn't? We I always run out of pens, so I figured some pins would be good and some project notebooks. I found um, 
this project notebook it's like a monet painting i just i love that and so i wanted to include that and then i also wanted to include this it says i crochet but my favorite hobby is collecting yarn it is literally a project um book where you can keep track of all of your crochet knitting crafting <laughs> projects there and i just thought that this was so cute so i have these that are also included in the giveaway um and then there's some things that i always include like <laughs> one of these keychains with the bitty hooks on it a hobie candy because i just i personally don't like them um a plastic stitch marker um, or I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm calling everything stitch markers today, um, a plastic tape measure. And then I have some green buttons and that goes kind of with the theme that, you know, the greenery around us is about to go away. All right, so moving on, I am going to show you the coloring books that I'm including. I thought that it would be really interesting, um, you know, kind of thinking about September being the time of the spring or the autumn equinox. And that's just when the day and the night are the same. Um, <laughs> to have this split between fantasy and reality. <laughs> and so that's my thinking behind these um, coloring books. So we've got the uh, fantasy coloring book. Um, and, and this fantasy coloring book is more... Um, more along the more re realistic type looking things rather than the cutesy stuff so i just wanted to mention that and then paired with that is a cityscape scapes which is hyper realistic <laughs> and it just has all different kinds of cities and um coloring <laughs> coloring pages about that so i just thought that, that would be so cool because we have this perfect split between hyper reality and hyper fantasy and of course, as always, I am going to add some Crayola crayons, or I'm sorry, colored pencils to that. And this will come in handy once I show you all the yarn. So are you guys ready? <laughs> are you guys ready for to see the yarn? So what I'm going to do is I am going to go off camera. I'm going to clean this off and then I'll show you the yarn. All right. See you in just a minute. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm ready to show you guys the yarn that I picked out for you. Um, I have a little bit of a story to this yarn, so let me go ahead and tell you the story, then I'll show you the yarn. So I have mystery boxes of yarn that I sell on um, Etsy, and I thought that it would be really cool to just showcase one box at a time and all of that kind of stuff, but I couldn't pick which one to do, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna give an example of what I put in the different kinds of boxes so you guys can see that, and also so whoever wins this, it doesn't matter what their favorite um, colorway is, they'll get a little bit of each. So that is my thinking here. So first, I'm going to start with the fall colors. So we have Lamb's Pride Superwash Sport. Now, this says it's a two-way, um, but it really works up a little bit more like a three to me. Um, and I'll just go ahead and show you what that looks like on my finger. You see, it's just, it's a little bit too thick to call it a two, but I mean, Lamb's Pride says that it's a two, so. Anyway, this is 100% wool. And um, this soak, this celebration soak, you'll get at least two of them. Um, celebration is the um, is not the company; it is the um, scent. Um, this will come in handy with any wool product, okay? And I just like to show some things that you can, like how you can take care of your yarn, also. So these are something that might come in a autumnal or earth tone mystery box. And then I also wanted to show you guys this beautiful Ella Ray Cozy Soft Chunky. Look at the shine on that. Isn't that amazing? So we have it in this beautiful golden oak color. It's like this very, very burnt orange. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And then we have it in this deep chocolate brown. And they call this Bitter Brown Bear. And again, it's, it's Ella Ray. Um, so it's a, I just wanted to say it's a machine wash, washable wool blend. It's 75% acrylic and 25% wool. It is so soft and it's very shiny. I just, I love the way these colors look together. And then I also have an Ella Ray and Hunter Green. Just putting together these colors um, that's just right on the precipice of, of fall. And they're all very earthy colors. So I just wanted to showcase, you know, if you were to order one of my mystery boxes 
in fall. These are some of the colors that you might get. <laughs> All right, so we have fall covered. Next, we are going to go to winter. And so for winter, I include jewel tones. So I have these Cascade Yarn Cherub Chunkies, and I have them in these two jewel tones. Really, really pretty jewel tone um, blue and this um, really deep, um, what would I call that? Like wine red color, lovely. Um, these are 55% nylon and 45% acrylic. They're 100 gram balls and um, there's 136 yards in both of these. Um, but I'm also throwing in this kind of, it, this is not pure white, it's more of a cream color. I'm gonna throw in this to go with these so that you have um, a little bit more to work it with. Um, so after, after the winter comes spring, so I've got these, this yarn art Pacific in these pastel colors. Oh gosh, I love them. They're so pretty. It's this, this pink and purple, you know, and it's nice and pastel and springy. And um, this is 20% wool and 80% acrylic. Um, the color is a number, so I can't tell you what the co what the color is. Um, I, obviously, it's pink and purple. It's it is a thinner yarn, but it it feels like it would be easy to work with compared to other thinner yarns. It, I mean, it feels like it's sub substantive. So I have four balls of these. I want to see how much yards you'd get. Okay, about, hmm, oh, okay. About 220 yards per, per ball. And then we go to summer with the brights. And so I have um, some more Cascade yarn, but these are in more bright colors. So we've got this bright summery pink, this bright summery blue, and this bright summery green and is Cascade Sarasota. 60% cotton, 40% acrylic because yeah, in the summer you're gonna want it to be more lightweight. So we've got these over here. I guess I'm gonna put them on this side. And then I also wanted to remind you that I have um, some grayscale and I have this Vitalana, um, this is Heathered Sock. It's by Nick, it's for Knit Crate. And this one is called Rising, it's 80% Peruvian Highland wool and 20% nylon. It is fingering weight, so it's got 436 yards or 398 meters. Um, really nice sock weight yarn there if you want to make socks with that. And then I just threw in um, this, this Cotton King yarn. The, they have some that is made after flags, and I believe this is supposed to be the Swedish flag with this blue and yellow. This dark blue and yellow are kind of famous for going together really well. Um, so I wanted to throw in one of those. And um, I don't know if people know this or not. I, I put it in my description, but I think some people don't don't read it or don't realize, but I always put a Noro in my mystery boxes. And since it's, and it's also a tradition for me to put a Noro in um, my giveaways. So <laughs> all of this yarn, look at this, you get to travel around the seasons and even explore this grayscale to um, see the kinds of stuff that I like to put in my mystery boxes. So are you guys excited? I know I am, I'm really, really excited for this, especially whoever is gonna win this. I'm so excited for you guys, for you to get the hamster, <laughs> the hamster stitch marker, because it's so funny and cute. I'm so glad somebody's gonna get that. <laughs> All right, so here are the terms and conditions. Please listen up. Um, it's also how you can enter, okay? So yeah. YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway in any way. This giveaway is funded by me for subscribers to my channel, Nishcraft. I purchased everything that you're seeing in this giveaway, okay? Um, this giveaway is open to residents of the US and Canada. To enter the giveaway, you must subscribe to Nishcraft, that's this channel right here, <laughs> like this video, 
and leave a comment with the word green in it. That's G-R-E-E-N, green, like the color. <laughs> I will choose a winner by random comment picker at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time on September 15th, 2022. All right. The winner must use the word green, G-R-E-E-N, the color, <laughs> in their comment to qualify. Once selected, the winner must email me with a mailing address within 10 days of the announcement of the winner. And again, I announce the winner in video, okay? Good luck to all who enter and look for another giveaway coming up soon on Nishcraft. Now, one more thing I want to say before I um, sign off and arrange this stuff so I can take a great picture for you guys. I want to say I also have another giveaway right now um, that if you haven't heard of or you haven't seen, you might want to just look through my channel to see if you can find that and enter to win that one too. It's not as big as this one, but it's still really special and it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoy this giveaway and I look forward to seeing you soon in another video. Bye for now.